Welcome to the University of Texas at Austin. This video tutorial features a chemistry refresher which is brought to you by the College of Natural Sciences and we've designed this refresher to help you as you begin to prepare for your chemistry classes you'll be taking this year. We've got a problem here, it's a long one and it's complicated, so we're going to break it up into three parts, or four parts, and this is what you can expect to find. After we finish this introduction, we're going to learn um, how to identify our reactants and their formula in this problem. Then we're going to write our balanced chemical reaction. And the third piece, we will look at uh, the reaction stoichiometry and use that to determine uh, what our limiting reactant is. And then finally, in the last portion, we will learn about percent yield, and that's where we will answer part B in this problem as well. Okay, so that's what, what you'll expect to find. Let's get started. So we're asked to find the molarity of a salt that results from the addition of 0.48 grams lithium hydroxide with 50 milliliters of 0.5 molar hydrobromic acid. And then what is the percent yield if 1.3 grams of the salt is obtained? So we first need to determine the formula of our reactants so that we can write our reaction because we don't know what the formula of the salt is. So what is lithium hydroxide? And what is hydrobromic acid? Well, lithium hydroxide is an ionic compound, and how did I know that? Uh, well, there's two words in its name, but just because it has two words in the name doesn't mean it's ionic. But the biggest clue is this first word. The first word in ionic compounds is always the name of the cation. And cations are positively charged, remember? And um, in particular, lithium here. Lithium is an alkali metal. And metals, as you know, like to be positively charged. And lithium and all the other alkali metals like to have a charge of plus one. So I know that in this ionic compound, I have lithium. And I'm going to have lithium one plus. So that is the cation piece. What is the anion piece? That is hydroxide. And hydroxide, if it's not familiar to you, is a strong base. And you should begin to automatically associate hydroxide with strong base. But it's a polyatomic ion. And we have a table of this on our website. And you should begin to memorize those common ones there, since you'll encounter them a lot. Uh, but hydroxide is OH minus. So these two ions, cation and anion, will come together to form a neutral compound, and it's neutral when the charges cancel each other out. So lithium 1 plus will mix with hydroxide 1 minus. The charges are equal and opposite, and so lithium hydroxide is LiOH. Hydrobromic acid is one of the seven strong acids, and you should memorize all of them. We have hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic acid, which is what we will be using, hydroiodic acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, chloric acid, and perchloric acid. So you should just begin to memorize those. And hydrobromic acid is the acid that we will be using in this problem. So these are two reactants. And now we're ready for part two, where we will write our balanced chemical reaction.